<clears throat> okay, here we go with this battle. The thing that sucks is I have no freaking uh, PP for this fight. Let me see if I can actually give some immediately. Oh, whoa, we're their asses. I thought they were going to be tough. It's a mad easy fight. Oh, you can do jumping attacks, too. That was super easy. So I pretty much Thank wasted that orange gel. All right, we saved Kakao. <laughs> Thank you so much for saving my mom. I don't know what I would have done if they'd murdered my mom as well. As well? As well? My husband volunteered in Governor General Dor's army and was killed in a battle against the designs. And my mother was taken to the ranch. Oh my god. Let me guess. It was her. It was grandma that originally founded our shop. It was marble. We have to protect it. Not just for ourselves, but also for grandma's sake. For when she returns, oh, wait, no, it can't be marble because this is a different prison here. Or a ranch, sorry, as they call it. But I'd better get going soon. It's almost time for the next Asgard pilgrimage. Asgard pilgrimage? I work at the Church of Martell Travel Agency. But it's uh. not like I believe in Martell or anything. Shut up. How can you say such a thing? I know. I know. I'm grateful for the Chosen. She's agnostic. But Martell didn't protect Dad or Grandma. Even this time, it wasn't Martell, but the Chosen and her companions that saved Mom. <laughs> How can anyone believe in a goddess that sleeps while we suffer? Oh boy, religious overtones compared to Christianity, uh-oh. I understand, but I still think Martell exists. You think? I'm sure of it. She exists inside you and me. Well, if the Chosen says so... <clears throat> Then I'll at least try to believe. Are there really people that want to go on a trip right after what just happened here? No. Nah. It's after events like this that both those with and without faith feel the need to go on a journey in search of salvation. That pretty much sums it up. Well then, thank you all very much. Alright, so we saved. They're cool. Now hopefully she'll give me a lot of free items, right? Nope. <laughs> Thanks for saving my life. Now I'll charge you double. <laughs> Don't charge you double for everything. Yes. Damn those designs. Why do they do such horrible things? But I'm glad nothing really bad happened to Kakao or the people of the city. Guys, as things stands now, do you think they'll attack Pama Costa again? Yeah, I've been thinking about that myself. If this turns into another Zelia. You knew that when you saved Kakao, though. It may sound heartless, but we must focus on the journey of regeneration. Did I make another mistake? Well, Makosta has a militia. Even if we had not fought, surely it would have been only a matter of time before they staged an uprising of their own. Even still, maybe I was acting irresponsibly. <clears throat> but Chocolat and Cacao and everyone were grateful to you, Lloyd. And besides, if you hadn't done anything, I think I would have fought by myself. Colette, thanks. Alright, well I guess we're off again. That's the wrong way, isn't it? Mystery of the Imposters. Those fakes are totally copying us. I suppose that would make their ignoble leader Lloyd. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> yeah, he's just like him. And that girl would be Colette, and the magic user would be me. Oh, then that one who looks like a big ape is... Genus? No, it's gotta be Kratos. I forget if there's an inn in this town or not. No? 
Now this was this church. Darn it. This next building is the restaurant. The inn? One of these is the inn, I think. No, this is a store. I'm an idiot. Here we go. Nope, that's not it. Here we go. Nice, I can save here too. What the fuck? What happened? Are you okay? Let's, let me guess this guy again, right? Oh, Lloyd, just now, there's this weird person. Who's this person? What? Did he hurt you? I'm fine. I think he ran away when I hit him. She hit him. <laughs> I see. Alright, let's save. Do 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 do. You know the peak. Oh, escorting her. Part of the way. I'm taking her to the house of salvation. Aha! We fa basically, we just fast traveled. That's interesting. Let's see if the head priest is back or not. Wait a minute. Whoa. Chosen one, everyone. What is it? I have a message from Dor. He would like you to temporarily cease the journey of regeneration. What is this about? A Church of Martel pilgrimage tour guide has been kidnapped by the Desions. In light of this, Dor has decided that this is the time to gather Pomacostas forces and launch an attack on the human ranch controlled by Magnus. Ah. How is that related? We would like you to rescue the kidnapped tour guide in concert with our attack. Who is this kidnapped tour guide? Her name is Chocola, of course. God damn it. Oh no. Please help us. Lord, let's help them. Yes. <clears throat> Somehow I thought you were going to say that. Of course, we can't just leave her. Thank you. We will inform you of the details once you reach the ranch. Alright. So we need to go to the ranch. I just want to see if the head priest is back. He is. You so see, you want the spiritual statue? I know it's a brazen request, but it's for the world regeneration. Please, Father. The spiritual statue is marvelous, don't you think? If you say your prayers in front of it, your feelings will be even stronger. Bring the statue here. My most humble apologies. The spiritual statue is actually a fake I had placed here. What are you talking about? I lost the real spiritual statue during a pilgrimage a year ago. The pilgrimage is the Church of Martel's spiritual training journey, right? Why would you take the statue with you? The halo on the head of the spiritual statue is made of diamond. We always take it with us when we go on pilgrimages in order to protect it from thieves. On the trip last year, I followed that custom as usual and bought the spiritual statue on with me to Thoda Island. But there, I accidentally dropped it into the geyser. What the fuck? Why'd you have to take it to a place like that? I'm terribly sorry. I was so moved upon seeing the geyser for the first time. By the time I realized it, the statue had fallen onto the rocks on the other side of the geyser. Desperate, I paid a visit to a dwarf who lives in Azelia and had to make something just like it. <clears throat> oh, that'd be Dirk. It's very good work, just from what I expect from Dirk. Dad... Just what kind of jobs are you doing? Well, then what shall we do now? Do you think the fake will fool that old man? It doesn't seem likely. It's well built, but it's still a fake, as is the diamond. Oh, uh, what if we go get the real one? You want to go all the way to Thoda Island? And on top of that, the rocky area is on the other side of the geyser, correct? Yes. Guys, are up with boiling water. It's dangerous. Oh, yeah. 
You're stupid, Lloyd. I bet you forgot everything we studied in geology. Just damn him. Should have called him stupid. Damn. If only we could stop the geyser. I heard that the eruption circle of the Thoda Island geyser is quite short. I wonder if we can seal it with something. That's it. We'll just have genius seal it with magic. Magic, huh? Like cover it with ice or something. Okay, I'll give it a try. You better be grateful. We're in vow number one. Let's all work together for a peaceful world. We'll quit counting on you, Mr. Geni genius Magician. Alright, well, can't do this yet. Huh? Now we're heading east of the prison now. 